With summer gone, more uncertainty looms for Coney Island's fabled boardwalk. San Perla, USA, an Italian company tapped by the city to revive the boardwalk, is looking to permanently bring back some longtime seaside businesses who were given the boot. 100 years ago, Coney Island had the three greatest amusement parks in the world, Dreamland, Luna Park, and Steeplechase. And now the city is trying to bring it back to its greatness. According to sources, San Perla had planned to replace seven popular mainstays once their leases expire at the end of the month as part of a $5 million plan to create a cleaner, more sanitized amusement district. However, a potential deal with the Miami Beach Group to operate in the space appears to have fallen through, giving some of the seven boardwalk businesses new leases of life. Sources say Ruby's and Paul's daughter, a four-decade-old food stand, are now among the likely choices to be offered new leases. The uncertainty of the boardwalk's future seems to be an annual topic in Coney Island. I actually would not like it for, for I would not like it for them to take it away because I like it the way it is. There are new restaurants coming, some have already opened. There are several more that are going to be here next year on the boardwalk. They've been bringing new rides in. Nine of the 12 boardwalk shops San Perla inherited were served with eviction papers last year. Three others, such as Lola Star Boutique, were allowed to stay on. This is Peter Kahn from the New York Post.